Uh, but then, hey, what the heck? Yeah, but. Paul McCartney is an English musician, singer and former member of the legendary band The Beatles. He is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most sales, the most covered song, Yesterday. His concert attendance was at a record high. He is considered one of the most successful entertainers of all time. McCartney's life was as interesting as his music, having been fascinated with music since childhood. Join us as we explore his youth, how he became a legend, and the net worth of his success. Please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. Additionally, comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Early Life Paul McCartney's full name is Sir James Paul McCartney, born on June 18, 1942 in Liverpool, England. His mother, Mary Patricia, was a nurse and midwife. His father, James McCartney, is a volunteer firefighter. When Paul was born, his father was not present because he was fighting in the Second World War. Incident happened to a 14-year-old boy when his mother died of breast cancer. After the death of his mother, McCartney suffered a mental breakdown. His father was a pianist who led the jazz band which brought him closer to music. He later had a close relationship with his future Beatle colleague, John Lennon the one who also lost her mother at a young age. Encouraged by his father to try a variety of musical instruments and advised to learn the piano, McCartney preferred to learn by ear. The future star taught himself guitar, trumpet and piano in Spanish. Career He wrote his first song, When I Was 64 at the age of 16. In 1957, McCartney met John Lennon during a gig and was invited to join the band. Soon, other aspiring musicians also joined the group, and thus The Beatles was born. The Beatles changed members continuously over the years and by 1962 his lineup included Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. The Beatles have contributed to music, film, literature, art and fashion making a continuing impact on entertainment, popular culture and lifestyles for generations. In 1962, the band's first single, Love Me Do, was written by Paul McCartney in collaboration with Lennon. This single became a hit and the Beatles became very popular. Fan hysteria for the Beatles became known as Beatlemania, and the press sometimes referred to McCartney as the cute Beatle. In 1965, the group released the album Help, created the hit single Yesterday written by Paul McCartney. The song went on to become one of the most covered songs in recorded music history with over 2,200 covers. McCartney has written more hits for the band than any other member. Songs like Yesterday, Hey Jude, Let It Be, and Hello, Goodbye provided soundtracks for an entire generation. Looking back at the number of music that makes us wonder, the Beatles have created more than 240 songs, they have recorded many singles and albums and made a number of movies. The band has left thousands of primetime photos for fans. The Beatles grew from the ground up to the top of the entertainment industry, they learned from many world cultures, absorbed different styles, and created their own. In 1970, after disagreements, the band disbanded. McCartney pursued a solo career and formed the new band Wings. The band remained popular throughout the 70s, winning two Grammy Awards and releasing several hit singles. In 1980, after the death of friend John Lennon, he stopped touring for nearly a decade. By 1989, he was ready to perform live again and kick off a world tour. This tour earned him the world record for performing to the largest paying stadium audience in history. In July 2012, Paul McCartney rocked the opening ceremony of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. He performed live the Beatles' immortal hit Hey Jude. The show was watched live by nearly 80,000 spectators at the Olympic Park Stadium, along with an estimated 2 billion television audience worldwide. He then put his solo career on hold to make the Beatles' anthology, 
a documentary TV series chronicling the Beatles' progress. Awards Paul McCartney has won 21 Grammy Awards, including two Grammy Lifetime Achievement Awards, one with the Beatles and one as a solo artist. He is a recipient of the Kennedy Center Honors and inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, among other accolades. In 1965, McCartney, Lennon, Harrison and Starr were named members of the Order of the British Empire. In 1990, he achieved the record for the largest attendance at a concert with 184,000 people in Rio de Janeiro. Since 1997, he has been Sir Paul McCartney, knighted by Queen Elizabeth II. On February 10, 2013, he received a Grammy Award for Best Traditional Pop Album for his album Kisses on the Bottom. He then received a special award from PRS for music on the 50th anniversary of composing his most famous song, Yesterday. He ranks 11th on Rolling Stone's list of 100 Greatest Singers. He topped Rolling Stone's list of 100 Greatest Artists as a member of the Beatles. Personal Life with a resounding career success, Paul McCartney also had relationships with many women in his youth. He met Linda Eastman, a photographer, in 1967 and married her in 1969. He adopted Linda's stepdaughter from a previous relationship and had three more children. In 1998, Linda died of breast cancer after 29 years of marriage. In 2002, Paul McCartney married Heather Mills, a former model. The couple had a daughter, but the marriage did not last. They had a bitter divorce in 2008. In 2011, he married Nancy Shelley. Chevelle is the vice president of a family-owned trucking corporation that owns New England Motor Freight. McCartney had two minor drug convictions and fines for possession and cultivation of marijuana and the U.S. government repeatedly denied him a visa until 1973. He was arrested several more times during those years 70s and 80s for possession of marijuana. In the 1980s, McCartney was caught in the law for marijuana possession in Japan in January that landed him in jail for nine days. After that, McCartney was actively involved in a number of philanthropic activities. He is a strong supporter of vegetarianism and animal rights, and supports a number of humanitarian causes and supports cancer-fighting charities. In 2017, McCartney was offered a cameo on the big screen in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, The Dead Tell No Story. In 2019, he published a children's book, Hey Grandude. Occupational Income As of 2023, Sir James Paul McCartney is the richest famous musician in the world with a net worth of $1.2 billion. During his touring years, Paul easily earned $50 minus $70 million personally. Outside of his touring years, he earns tens of millions a year in royalties, and licensing fees earned from both his own music, and an incredibly valuable portfolio of publishing rights from other artists through through his publishing company MPL Communications. He has achieved more solo success than any other former Beatles member. His concerts sold out almost immediately and grossed millions of dollars. From 1960 until now, the 76-year-old man has surprised the audience with his ability to make money. During his 2015 tour, McCartney grossed $4 million per city. In 2002, his tour brought in $126 million. His 2010 tour grossed $93 million. In 2014, he earned $71 million on an 80-day tour through 20 countries. In 2016, he earned $56.5 million. In 2017, he earned $54 million with a 15-city tour in the US and Brazil. How does he spend money? Paul owns at least $100 million in real estate globally. In 1984, Paul spent $1.88 million to buy a townhouse in New York City overlooking the Museum of Modern Art. In 1998, 
Paul spent $495,000 to buy a home in East Hampton, Long Island. In 2001, McCartney and his late wife, Linda Louise McCartney, purchased a home in the Hollywood Hills for $4 million. One of his biggest purchases was a $15.5 million three-story penthouse in Manhattan that he bought with his wife, Nancy Chevelle, in 2015. He owns a 190-acre ranch outside of Tuscon, Arizona. He also owns thousands of properties in the UK, his hometown. Includes a 1,500-acre estate in East Sussex, a flat in London and a country estate in Scotland. In February 2015, his childhood home in Speak was auctioned off, the house eventually selling for $231,000. With all the fame and fortune that Paul McCartney is earning, it's no surprise that he buys luxury cars. Paul McCartney ordered a Sierra Blue Aston Martin DB5 with a black leather interior for around $5,000. It was later sold at auction for more than $1.3 million. McCartney bought his Mini Cooper S. DeVille when the Beatles' manager ordered four cars for each member of the band. Paul McCartney also owns a beautiful DB6 from 1966 that costs about US$406,000. Austin Healey 3000 released in 1966 was also acquired by McCartney. One can now be purchased for $60,000. Paul McCartney also owns a luxury car Lamborghini 400 GT when it was just launched. It costs about US$455,000. He and Linda Eastman once bought a Land Rover Series 186 station wagon. He added to the collection a Rolls Royce Cornish and a Lamborghini S2. This world's richest man is still a money machine that shows no signs of stopping. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below. The celebrity you want to see in the upcoming video. Thank you very much.